Challenge 5. Find the dirtiest toilet in Seoul. The Koreans are fascinated with turds. It's part of their national culture. They even got a turd museum. Ah, oh, there's the bison pat. A gorilla's eggs. They say the Siberian tiger's in danger of extinction. But I've got to say, he's got a very healthy stool on him. A very good thickness, quite a good length, and very neatly snipped off. But a museum wasn't going to help me find a filthy toilet, so I met up with a man who's a self-proclaimed toilet specialist. His name, Mr. Juju. Ah, oh, you think there'll be a toilet in there? Can we go in here? This is not a great toilet. Oh, gee, oh. Ah, oh, it's a squat toilet. Let's have a look in here. So, how, how low do I squat? Is that low enough? Yeah. But my piss is going to go... Yeah, let me, let me, let me you, you, you demonstrate. Out of the water. Down like that. Yeah, it's quite hard to read in that position. Yeah. There's no paper, the flush doesn't work, it stinks. But this is my heaven. We are uh, our time. Is that graffiti? Does that yeah. say, meet me at 9 o'clock, I suck dick? Yes. Some door have to, you have to keep the door in this. Uh, yeah, you have to hold it in, which is very hard in a squatting position. Well, Mr. Juju, yeah. that was quite a disgusting toilet. But I can't believe there's nothing worse somewhere in Korea. I think Mr. Juju was being a bit patriotic. He didn't really show me the filthiest toilet in Korea. I've heard there's some pretty nasty ones on the underground. Korean tube trains are very modern and they have themed carriages, decorated in a rather surreal manner. Very odd. This one's spaghetti or rainfall. Very nice, but where was the cars in? This train's getting stranger and stranger. Oh my God, it's parsnip compartment. I think the designer of this train took some very bad acid. Ah, this is what Mr. Juju must have been talking about. It's an enormous train compartment uh, made out of toweling. Everything is in the shape of lavatory and bathroom fittings. Here's a lovely urinal right above this young woman's head. This really is the piece de resistance. It's an enormous lavatory, guarded, it seems, by a soldier with two unflushed turds in it. All very theatrical, but not actually very filthy. So my challenge continued. Well, we come to this area, which is full of tiny alleyways, all of them containing restaurants, brothels and billiard parlours. And I figure one of them has got to be really insanitary. My search began promisingly. <laughs> I am quite a short man, and even I am struggling to have a piss here without being able to put it all over my shoes. It's not the filthiest, but it's certainly the smallest. There's the roof level. The next one was small too. This is another in a series of dwarf toilets. Got your squat toilet, very, very damp surface. You keen to see what's underneath this manhole here. That is the cesspool. It's a big bowl of shit, basically. It's not moving anyway, it's like a swamp. The spout is... Oh. There really wasn't a lot of hygiene going on round here. Oh, very bad. Next, I went to a smarter part of town to visit a bar dedicated to the Third Reich. Hello there. Can I check your toilet for my camera? It's decorated with SS badges and memorabilia. Look, there's Adolf, and they weren't very keen on us filming. I don't know why though. I've got to say this is a fantastic Nazi toilet. When you piss, you're pissing on ice. It's like making a very expensive drink. Unfortunately, we got kicked out before I could enjoy the luxury. But it wasn't long until we really struck gold. I cannot tell you the odour in here. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Have a look at that. <laughs> A picture is worth a thousand words. <laughs> this one has got to be the most disgusting toilet in Korea. I think I found it. I didn't exactly cover myself with glory, so I'm expecting a pretty horrible forfeit. As long as it isn't eating anything still alive, I don't care what it is. What is my forfeit? <laughs>